Across parts of Europe, Turkey is threatening a coming war between the Cross and Crescent. President Recep Perdogan has threatened NATO ally Denmark over banning Islamic head coverings. Now he's threatening Austria. After that, government recently closed several mosques and threw out 60 imams. The Austrians say they're just defending their country against political Islam. Dale Hurd explains it's all part of the Turkish president's Islamic dream to conquer the European continent. It's being called a fifth column in Europe, a vast network of radical Islamists operating inside Turkish mosques and organizations. And it's under the control of Turkey's ambitious president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The Austrian government shut down seven mosques and expelled 60 imams recently because they were being funded illegally by the Turkish government. And because of this, photos from inside the mosque that surfaced on the internet showing Turkish children being trained to be martyrs. Austria's move against the mosques infuriated Turkey's government, and President Erdogan warned of a coming war between the cross and the crescent. The leading expert on Erdogan's network of mosques and Islamic associations in Europe, Turkish journalist Abdullah Bozkurt, calls them Erdogan's fifth column. He spoke to us from Stockholm, Sweden. What we have been uh, seeing in the last couple of years, an increased uh, activity on the part of the Turkish government to turn the mosques uh, that, was, that were financed by the Turkish communities or by the Turkish government, or imams deployed directly from Turkey to serve as sort of political operatives. Bozkurt says several Islamic and charitable organizations run by the Turkish government are fronts for political activity. This is not Turkey, it's Germany. There are an estimated 5 million Turks in Germany and millions more across Europe. These are Erdogan supporters and Kurds fighting in the streets of Belgium. Bozkurt warns Erdogan's network is a proxy force that can cause social unrest on the streets of Europe and keep Muslims in line. This is first and foremost a threat uh, to the Muslims actually living in Europe and other countries, uh, because anybody who is not subscribing to this ideology of Erdogan government uh, are deemed as a threat, traitor, not patriotic and terrorist, uh, or not even Muslim infidels. Bozkurt calls Erdogan's fifth column a strong card he can play if he needs to strike back at Europe. Dale joins us from the CBN newsroom with more. So, Dale, is Erdogan just making threats for domestic consumption, playing to his political base, or is this guy really serious? I think all three. Uh, you know, he is somewhat limited uh, as to what he can do in Europe. He can't break the law uh, or he gets ejected, as we saw in Austria. He wants a ready pool of protesters if he doesn't feel like the, e, uh, the Europeans are treating him well, or if Islam is being disrespected. Perhaps more importantly, he wants to control not only Turks, but I'm learning Muslims in Europe. That this is reaching out beyond the Turkish community to all Muslims in Europe. He wants to make sure that they're on his side, they're supporting him and his views. So, so he really sees himself as the defender of Islam in Europe. Uh, this latest threat, this war of words over actions in Austria, the Turks have a Long history, a history, as you know, of conflict with the people there. There were two sieges in Vienna, the first nearly 500 years ago. It seems Erdogan is really opening some old wounds here, Dale. Why? Well, the whole Ottoman shtick, uh, you know, plays well in Turkey. Um, there's, there's been a resurgence in, in, in Ottoman-style patriotism and religious fundamentalism. I think they overall view Europe as a pushover, as passive. I think what happened in Austria was a big shock. I think it took them by surprise. I don't think they were expecting that. Germany uh, has the largest Turkish uh, population of any country outside of Turkey. Maybe, as you said, m as many as five million Turks live there. So how concerned are the German people about Erdogan? Honestly, I don't think concerned enough. Um, you know, I, I think uh, Germany especially is still trying to think happy thoughts about Turkey. I, I, you know, the Turks in Germany are an important part of their economy, and, and they're used to having the Turks there. So, you know, I don't think they get it. I think Europe is going to start to get it because I think this is going to get worse and worse. Well, as you know, Turkey is still holding American Pastor Andrew Brunson in prison on false charges of espionage against the government. I, I know the U.S. Senate has tied the sale of about, oh, 100 U.S. 
F-35 fighter jets to Turkey uh, uh, to, tr to Brunson's release. So what are the chances he'll be home soon? You know, I don't have any intel, inside intel on his situation, but you know, Turkey arrested over 70,000 people after the coup. All a number of lawyers, journalists, professionals are in jail. Jail is the weapon they're using now. Uh, you know, I think the U.S. is going to have to hurt Turkey really hard, harder than this aircraft sale, I think, but also give Erdogan uh, some way to, to save face. I think that, that will, those two things will be the key to getting the pastor home. Okay, Dale Hurd, uh, CBN News Senior International Correspondent, thanks so much for your excellent reporting and analysis. Thank you, Gary.